Good morning, everyone. First, let me begin by thanking Chief Dominic Choi. I want to I want to thank Chief Choi and your experience and steady leadership have been invaluable to me and to all of Los Angeles. I also want to recognize you, Chief Choi, for your more than 20 years of service to our city. And I'm grateful that you will continue, you're not going anywhere, you will continue to serve in a role as Assistant Chief. Every day, you and every officer of the LAPD pin on that badge and shield Angelinos from harm. And we thank you all for your service. From the beginning, I have been clear. My top priority of, as mayor is to ensure that Angelinos and our neighborhoods are safer today than yesterday. Simply put, public safety is job number one, and it's personal for me. I spent years treating patients at Los Angeles County Emergency Room. I saw the consequences of crime up close. I saw the devastation that gunshot wounds, knives, and fists did to people's bodies, and I saw the impact on the families left to pick up the pieces. That inspired my work as a community organizer to prevent crime in the first place, and it continues to drive me today. Today, we are making sure that Los Angeles has the right leader in place, and I will make sure that the LAPD and our new leader has the support that is needed to build toward the future of public safety in the nation's second largest city, and to prepare Los Angeles for what's ahead, to welcome the world to our city. So therefore, to reduce crime and make LA safer by growing and strengthening the LAPD, building up community relations, and ensuring that our city is prepared, I have selected Jim McDonald to serve as the 59th Chief of Police of the Los Angeles Department. <laughs> Chief McDonald is one of America's finest police professionals. He graduated from our own police academy at the age of 21 and rose through the LAPD ranks to become the first assistant chief. He was then appointed as chief of police in Long Beach and elected to serve as the sheriff of LA County. Chief McDonald is a nationally recognized thought leader on public safety, which is why he was appointed to serve as director of USC's Price School of Public Policy's Safe Communities Institute. Chief McDonald is a leader, an innovator, and a change maker, and that's what we need in LA. I'm appointing Chief McDonald because he and I have aligned in our desire to change the direction of Los Angeles by preventing crime in the first place, responding urgently when crime takes place, and to hold people accountable and bring down crime. Together, we will grow and strengthen LAPD. We will achieve this by recruiting and hiring new officers and by improving officer morale to keep officers on the job and on the front lines. And we will deploy more officers on the street by modernizing LAPD's technology and cutting old-fashioned bureaucracy. Together, McDonald and I will also strengthen relationships with the community. The community and our officers should always be allies in keeping our neighborhoods safe. Different strategies we know are required for different neighborhoods and Chief McDonald understands the complexity of Los Angeles. LA is an international gateway. We are the nation's second largest city. This is earthquake country, and we're hosting the 2026 World Cup and the 2028 Olympic and Paralympic Games. After visiting France and seeing the games, the magnitude of what LA needs to prepare for is crystal clear to me. And I trust that Jim McDonald will make sure that we are prepared and vigilant for anything that comes our way. 
This day is the culmination of a national search for the right leader to partner with me and the officers of the LAPD to reduce crime and take LA in a new direction, to transform the department, to prepare for the world, and to keep Angelinos safe every day. I want to thank Jim's family, Kathy, Megan, and Alex, who are here with us today. Thank you. <laughs> Assistant Chief, LAPD, Chief of Police in Long Beach, elected by the people of Los Angeles County to serve as the sheriff, is now returning home to LA to serve as the 59th Chief of Police. Chief, Jimmy Gunn. Well, certainly, thank you very, very much, Mayor Bass, for your confidence. Uh, I can say during my tenure across L.A. County's three major policing agencies, I've had the opportunity to work with many, many mayors. And Mayor Bass, your efforts on public safety reflect thoughtful, compassionate, and solution-oriented approaches to policing, and we're thankful for that. You've attended more roll calls than maybe other, any other mayor in the city's history, and your engagement has not gone unnoticed. I greatly appreciate your confidence in me, and I look forward to working closely with you to make Los Angeles a safer city each day. I'm joined here today by my wife, Kathy, my daughter, Megan, and her husband, Alex. My daughter, Kelly, and her husband, Nick, and their family are on the East Coast, but are here in spirit. I began the LAPD Academy 43 years ago, and I pause when I say that because I just can't wrap my head around that. That is a long time. I love this city, and I understand the modern-day challenges our officers face in trying to protect it. To our LAPD officers, I thank you. You answer the call, you perform your duties with dignity, and you hold each other to the highest professional standards. Standing before you here today is a dream realized. It's a tremendous honor to lead the men and women of the LAPD. We will work hard to make sure that you are supported with your work to be able to keep all Angelinos safe. In simplest terms, my goals are to enhance public safety, to grow our department back to full strength through a solid recruitment and retention campaign, to strengthen public trust, the foundation of all we do, to further develop community relationships and to be able to take that to new levels to ensure respectful and constitutional policing practices in all that we do, and to prepare our organization and our partner agencies for the many challenges that face us ahead. As I prepare to take this role, I bring with me a comprehensive understanding of public safety from law enforcement, academic, and business perspectives. In the next five years, the eyes of the world will be on us. Los Angeles will host the World Cup, it will host the Olympic and Paralympic Games, who will host a Super Bowl and an NBA All-Star Game. Our department will, and our city will be showcased, and we will be prepared. What a great opportunity that is for all of us in L.A. I look for, forward to working with Chief Choi, and again, thank you, Chief Choi. He's probably the happiest guy here today. <laughs> and I, I thank the entire LAPD team uh, for, for all that's been uh, all that's been done and all that we will do together to make Los Angeles an even safer city and to make every member of our department proud of our organization. I know that Mayor Bass is committed to making Los Angeles a safer city each day and will support our efforts and I'm thankful for that. The reason I'm here today is because I believe in her commitment. We will face our challenges together. To those considering a career in public safety I say join us to build a safer Los Angeles. This is a time of great challenge, but a, a time of tremendous opportunity. Thank you again, Mayor Bass, for this, uh, this honor and this privilege. I'm, I'm indebted to you. Thank you. Jim McDonald, the new chief of the LAPD. Um, no, 
I don't. And you will not find a person in law enforcement here in Southern California with as much experience here as he has, former L.A. County Sheriff, <laughs> former Chief of the Long Beach Police Department, and a person who actually graduated from yeah. the LAPD Police Academy more than 40 years ago and has held just about every job in the LAPD. And a big job, a lot uh, happening in the city of Los Angeles. They mentioned, I mean, a lot of security challenges ahead yeah. of him. He's got World Cup 2026, the Olympics 2028. There's a Super Bowl happening. Uh, so, so a big job for sure. And some of the things, he, some of the goals he said he wants to get back to full strength through recruitment and retention and ensure respectful and constitutional policing. Recruitment is a, is yeah. a huge one. Sure. And you heard him make that pitch. If you were thinking about a career in public <laughs> safety, join us. I mean, that has been a big problem for the LAPD is getting new officers. Uh, they, they are down in terms of the number yeah. of officers patrolling the city. They want to get more people to join. They haven't been that successful with recruiting. So that's one of, one of the things he's going to work on.